This week, a sparring match between Governor Rick Perry and President Barack Obama over a hot topic, climate change. Now scientists from right here in Texas are weighing in on this debate. KXAN political reporter Josh Hinkle spoke to one expert from UT Austin about the politics of global warming. Find out what the science truly is before you start putting the American economy in jeopardy. It's no secret Governor Rick Perry's skeptical about climate change. Scientists who are coming forward and questioning uh, the original uh, idea that man-made global warming is what is causing the, the climate to change. We're counting up the number of days over 100 degrees. But there are plenty of climatologists and earth scientists like UT's Wendy Gordon who refuse to believe that many experts are lining up to refute the impact of global warming. And you know it's not really rocket science. It, it's pretty obvious. You know you can make the measurements and you can measure CO2 in the atmosphere and people have been doing that for you know, almost 100 years now. If you think it's hot now, Texas researchers have taken historic climate data and compared it to their predictions. On average, 40 years ago, there were three to five weeks 100 degrees or above. Now it's more like 12, and by the end of the century, we're talking 15 weeks or more in the triple digits each year. During a severe drought and a wave of wildfires in Texas, Perry and President Barack Obama are at odds. Obama recently said, you've got a governor whose state is on fire denying climate change. And Perry's spokesperson shot back. It's outrageous President Obama would use the burning of 1,500 homes, the worst fires in state history, as a personal attack. In order for the Republican Party to win, we can't run from science. In the presidential race, climate change boils down to jobs. Take it overboard, and many Republicans worry about hurting jobs in the oil and gas industry. Greenhouse gas emissions. Gordon says she understands that concern, but adds, as the world changes, the big debate over jobs might need to change, too. There is many jobs to be gained by trying to move towards, say, renewable energy sources and doing weatherization or, uh, you know, just trying to adapt, plan for a somewhat different future. Josh Hinkle, KXAN News.